What's up everybody, 801 Collector here, back at it again with another video for you guys. We, as you can see, are doing a Commander Masters Collector Box. Uh, ran by my LGS today and saw this and got a deal on it, so I traded in some cards. I was like, yeah, let's do it, why not? Uh, see if we can get luckier. Last time we obviously had a very rough go of it, uh, at least on one of the boxes, so that one was... Uh, definitely not worth it <laughs> I lost money there so let's hope this time that does not happen so we will uh, cross our fingers make sure to smash that like button give me that uh, luck um, today we don't have another battle again we still are looking to get our patreon numbers up so guys make sure to jump in and join my patreon get a chance to be a part of the future battles as they come so Anyways, let's crack into it. It'll be a relatively short video for you guys today. I uh, wanted to get this in. Tomorrow, I will be picking up Outlaws of Thunder Junction Collector Box. So, expect relatively soon after this video for that video to be posted. So, stoked for that, for that one. There are some really cool looking cards in that one um, that I'm actually stoked to see. Um, some that are... I'm going to go Elvish Mystic. Uh, some of it are right, but honestly, if I could get Terror of the Peaks, I will be a happy man, honestly. Dark Steel Mutation, Tetsuko, our land, Common, Elvish Mystic, got plenty of those. Common, Dread Return, Common again, Dread Return again in foil. That's not a great sign, but whatever. Rare. Inspiring Statuary for a rare mythic. Demonic Tutor etched, baby. Let's go. What a good hit, boys and girls. That is sick. Um, I believe that one's up there, actually, too. Demonic Tutor etched. Yeah, we're looking probably about a $50 card right there, guys. $50 card. Not bad at all. Another mythic after that. Uh, an... Anika, the hand of I'm, I'm butchering that guys don't know what that's worth, but who knows another mythic after that Urza Lord high artificer non foil, but not a terrible hit Not a bad hit and then you guys saw that obviously obscuring haze. So that's cool though I like those obscuring hazes honestly I think they're really pretty they're not worth much and the card, you know, the cards a decent card, but I really love the art on that one But this demonic tutor guys, let's freaking go that's what the doctor ordered, I'll tell you what. Um, yeah, all in all, for this box, paid about um, 200 for it, so not too crazy. Again, I traded in some cards to get that, so not a lot of this is uh, my money, luckily. So, my own, well, technically is, but you know what I mean. Um, but let's see... What we have here, see if we get another one. That's another good card pull. Mark Tudor, great job. I'm glad we pulled at least a good card up front so we at least know that we probably made something. <laughs> but who knows? Dread Return, and that, that's the standard art. Not bad. Counterspell, that's worth a buck or two. Not bad. Spike Shot Goblin. All the Glitters. Hunter's Insight. Keleth. Our land. Common Command Tower, all right. Uncommon Kemba, all right. Command Tower Foil, Full Art Foil, that's nice. That's worth, I think, like two bucks, something like that. Rare, Psy, Master Thopterist. Rare, Scythe Cloud, we got that in the last last one too, and I think it was etched as well. Skittering Cicada, that's worth like five, six bucks, I think. Then another rare, Dre Dreaded, ha, Deadly Rollick, non-foil, but that's nice. That non-foil side, I believe, is worth somewhere around like 25 bucks, so not bad. Rare, Marin, not a good hit. That's too bad. That Marin, I have been getting that a lot, so. But Deadly Rollick, not bad. Not bad at all for that. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take a Deadly Rollick. That's at least, you know, $25 card, so we're getting somewhere near our price in two packs so far. Um... That was probably our only really good hit with Deadly Rollick in there. Skittering Cicada, I think, is worth a couple bucks as well, but I'm not sure. So, sorry, I had to take off my headphones. 
I forgot to take them off when I was testing the sound. <laughs> Opal Palace, Tuscard Captain, Ministrant of Obli Obligation, Whew. Phyrexian and Jester, Molimol, Land, Common, all the glitters, Uncommon, Myriad Landscape, not terrible, not worth anything really though. Common, all the glitters again. A lot of repeti repetitive stuff. Zatalpa, Primal Dawn. I think that might be worth a few bucks, but I'm not 100% sure. That foiling looks really cool, though. I really do like that. That's kind of rad. Rare, Wake the Dead. I think I've got that before. Not etched, so I don't know what, what we're looking at there. Ugin's Mastery. I don't think I've ever seen that card before. Um... Yeah, I don't think I've seen that one before. Not bad, though. It's pretty cool. Another rare. Kindred Dominance. All right. That full R. Oh, we got a Mythic after this. Extra Planar Lens. Let's go. Not bad. Extra Planar Lens. I think also Kindred... Maybe Kindred Dominance is a different card that I'm thinking of, but let me just double check here while I'm stacking this. Yeah, Kindred Dominance. Uh, it's probably only like five bucks. But extra planar lens, I think this in foil is closer to like 10 bucks, I think. So, not terrible. Not terrible for extra planar lens. I'll take that. I will take it. All right. Here's our last shot at a jeweled lotus, y'all. Let's see if we can hit it. It has been long, long, long that I have bought this product and not hit it. When is it going to give? Is this the time? Probably not, but we can always stay positive. This is the time. Thran Dynamo, foil, not bad, worth a buck or two. Land, common, counter spell, full art. Oops, uncommon, there's another Thran Dynamo. Fell War Stone, not bad, that's worth a couple bucks. And foil too, rare. Idol of Oblivion, there we go. That's pretty rad. Um, don't think it's worth much, but that's still cool. Another rare. Azuri's Perdition in etched. Interesting. I don't know. It's for each creature you, your opponent's control. Create a 4-4 green Phyrexian beast creature token. Each of those tokens fight a different one of those creatures. Oh, that's sick. And another rare. Onak Oathkeeper. Okay. And lastly, a rare. Shapes Steel Shaper's Gift. Oh. And one more. Sorry, I'm, I'm not keeping up on my count. Pure Steel Paladin. That one's all right. Um, not a bad box. Not a bad box. I'll take it. Demonic Tutor was definitely the best hit. Deadly Rollick wasn't bad either. And Urza, probably like a $10 card. So we'll see if we made our money back. But that Demonic Tutor is pretty sick. But that's all we got for you guys today. It's a short video. Make sure to jump in and join that Patreon, guys. we got future battles I want to do with you guys, as well as uh, keep an eye out for Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Two openings are coming up. Those should be the next two videos, or at least the next within the next three. So I will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.